Hi everyone, I'm Maria Lawton, the Azorian Green Bean, and I have a very special recipe for you today. This recipe uh, came from a couple of years ago visiting family and being given these little beer biscuits or biscuits de cerveja. And I thought to myself, oh my goodness, I didn't grow up with this, but I should have because it is delicious. My daughters love them, my son-in-law loves them. I mean, everybody loves them. So I've got the recipe down. The recipe I'm gonna show you today is going to give you about 24 plus or minus biscuits. So you can absolutely double this recipe and make more, triple it, so forth and so on. But what I'm gonna show you today is just a very basic biscuit. Biscuits, beer biscuits. And um, not very sweet, but let me go through the details of the ingredients. And that is we have one and three quarter cups of all purpose flour, okay? We have nine tablespoons of uh, very softened butter. You can keep it out for overnight if you're gonna be baking it the next day, or if you've got in your microwave a softened butter uh, button, I'd absolutely use it, and that's what we have here. Then I have one third cup of beer. Now, we're using sag today, Sagj did not pay me to say Sagj. It is just what we had at home. And that is a very uh, pale lager. So you can use whatever uh, beer that you like, obviously, but I want you to know the taste of that beer is going to come out in the biscuit. So if you're a, you know, Narragansett fan, or if you're a, you know, um, I don't know, Heineken if they still make it. I don't even know all the beers, but fill in the blank. If you're one of those fans, use that beer. But I I like the flavor of that. So it's like, you know, Sag or Superbach, which is the, the Portuguese beer. But again, they didn't pay me to say that. It just so happens that that's what we have at home and my husband actually loves that beer. So, so a third of a cup of it. And then all I have here is what we'll be dipping the the dough in after when we're making out when we're rolling it out um, is uh, sugar but what i like to do um, is a mixture of regular granulated sugar white granulated sugar as well as brown sugar so i mix the two together and this is really the only sweetness out of the whole recipe. So if you're watching your sugars, you can adjust that too and still be able to enjoy this. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's get started, okay? And it's gonna be as simple as this. We're gonna be putting the one and three quarter cups right into the bowl. And as you can see, I'm just using my hands here. We're going old fashioned. We're going the old fashioned way here. We're gonna create a well in the center you know, and almost like every baking recipe, when it starts with a well, you know you're gonna be adding all kinds of goodness in the center of it. So in that center, you're gonna add the nine tablespoons of softened butter, and you can see it is softened. And I'm going in again. I know I could be using a nice spatula here to get this all out, but I'm using my fingers. I'm gonna be going in here and getting into it anyway, so might as well. And the last ingredient, which is the most important ingredient, is the butter, oh, it's the beer. See, I've already tasted some beer before, so. Um, and this is it. So once I start moving this in, I am just going to start folding it all together, mixing it all together with my hand until it all comes together. So here we go, goes the beer and we're just going to go in and start mixing it in. And again, this is not something I grew up with. You know, we went to um, to the islands. We went to San Miguel a couple of years ago uh, with my family, my daughters and my daughter Rebecca's boyfriend James and my son-in-law Rob and it was the first time they were there and one of my um, family members um, had these little biscuits 
um, for them to try out. And I'm like, what the heck is this? I've never had it. And uh, I felt like I've been left out of all this. Um, and But they loved it. We loved it. And then when Bob and I went back this past November, it was funny. All my girls, when I asked them, what would you like me to bring back when I come back with Dad? Um, what would you like me to bring back for you? And everybody said, beer biscuits. So it really is something that they, my family really loves. So as you can see, how this is all has come together. See how this is all nice almost can fold it in you can see it's not the dough is not sticky I'm gonna clean out my hands here a little the dough is by any means not sticky at all and and here we are I am going to fold that up again just make sure that everything has blended in. Kind of almost like an envelope. Take the ends here, bring it over and down. See, here we go. That's it. Flour, beer, and softened butter. And so now what we're going to do, okay, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. That is a beautiful piece of dough. And I made it in this glass bowl so you could absolutely see how it all worked together. Uh, but this is it. I mean, look how it feels. It's not breaking apart. It's not sticky. This is how it is, okay? So now what we're gonna do is I'm going to kind of move all of this aside here. And I'm going to bring already a, um, a greased tray and what I like to do oh let me move the beer before I start you know in between start drinking um, and that is what I like to do um, when I saw how the biscuits were made someone was showing me how the biscuits were made they um, only dipped it once into the sugar mixture but they only used um, the white granulated sugar and like I said I like the mixture of the two because Brown sugar gives you a little caramel kind of taste to stuff. So that's my added little stuff to it, okay? Um, and so when you take the dough, you're gonna come out with like smaller pieces. I like small pieces like this because I know I can make many more biscuits out of it. And so I said before, you can make 24 plus or minus. Well, it depends on the size of your biscuit. If you're gonna take a huge dough and you're gonna make a huge biscuit, you're gonna make less biscuits. Um, and if you take small pieces of dough, uh, you're gonna get more of a smaller size biscuit. And a smaller size biscuit, it's gonna become really crunchy. Um, and I kinda, I kinda like that. So what I do with the dough um, is I already put, a, like I almost take the dough before rolling it, and I kinda just tap it down into the sugar, the two sugars. And then I start rolling. And all it is, is just this. You take the dough, and by using the palms of your hands, you're gonna go back and forth with it. And as it becomes a thinner rope, you're gonna keep going until you get the right size that you want for your biscuit. And this is a wonderful thing to do with your children. Because if you're thinking of keeping them busy or keeping their hands busy, this is a great way to do it. So now that I have this nice piece of rope, okay, all you're gonna do is bring the centers together, the two ends, I mean, the two ends together, and then all you're gonna do is just twist. That's it. And then tap it into the sugar, roll it in, and you've got your first biscuit on the tray. So I am going to keep on doing it. I'll do one more time with you. And then I'm just going to keep going. And um, again, see, I take a piece of the batter, small piece, 
This is why you're going to have some that are a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. If you really want to get down to, you know, then we can weigh them out. You can break them out, the dough into smaller pieces and weigh out each piece of the dough to make sure that you get the same size, you know, skirts. But we're not going to go that far here. We're here at home. We can make small ones, big ones, a little, whatever. So tap it in here and then start rolling. And I like doing it here in my hands, between my hands. I know some people like to roll it out onto a um, onto the counter, onto your stone counter, making sure that it doesn't stick to it. But as you can see, the dough is not a sticky dough. Um, so with the exception of what I have here in my hands from when I was kneading it before. Um, but you know, this is, this is it. This is us. This is how it goes. And Again, you can control that thickness of it, both ends together, then twist and twist and twist. And there you have it. And then kind of go in between here with the sugar and put it there and then keep it going. So. If you don't mind me, I'm going to keep doing this until we have a tray full of bushkats. Okay, so now I have finished rolling them all out. And as you can see, I've got about 26 little bushkats. And so again, some are a little bit bigger than others. Some are a little smaller. Um, there's no right or wrong here, folks. Nothing like that. Um, you just do what you have and so forth and so on. And like I said, if you want it to be precise, you can always weigh the dough and then you know you're going to have all of them looking the same way. So now I'm going to have this tray go into a preheated oven at 350 degrees and and it's going to go in for about 30 minutes now for all of you that are wondering what i'm doing with the remainder of the sugar combination i save this i actually save it because we're in a time right now where we want to save everything and uh, kind of conserve everything that we have and later on this week i'm going to be making an apple pie so i will be using this in my um in my next thing that i'll be baking so nothing goes to waste but this goes in for 30 minutes and what i've done today is when we first started uh filming i had made up a batch beforehand because i figured oh my goodness we're going to be waiting 30 minutes uh to have and for me to show you exactly how they look so i've already done one up for you so but this is going to go in the oven for because you know we've got neighbors we can give out some some uh, biscuits so this is going to go in for 30 minutes and what i want to show you now is after the 30 minutes what they're going to look like now, the first batch that I did, I was only able to do 25 biscuits. So see what I mean? I mean, there again, there is no right or wrong or anything at all, but this just came out of the oven a little bit ago and it's cooled down so I can touch this. This is not a problem. And I'm going to take one and I've got my beer ready here because I actually do like this beer. And, um, and I'm gonna take this and I want you to, to hear the crunch that it has. Which one do I choose? I think I'm going to go with this one. This one here. And so as you can see, the back of it has nicely, like almost like caramelized because of that brown sugar. I, you know, it, I looked at the ingredients that the bag came in with all the biscuits and it didn't say brown sugar, but like I said, this is an added on for me because I do like that caramelization that happens, but I'm going to break it. Did you hear that? You know, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a bite. Mm. It is crunchy. It's not too sweet. Again, the only sugar is like we said, not even one, one step further, tapping in the dough before rolling it out and then rolling it around in the sugar before, you know, putting it on the tray. And, but it's sweet enough. It really is, and it's crunchy, mm. and I've got that taste of the beer, 
just a little bit in the back. But again, real important that you use a beer that you like to drink. So, I mean, what's better than having beer biscuits, but, you know, with beer? And, um, and if you don't like beer, you're gonna like beer biscuits. You don't have to drink the beer, but you're gonna like it, especially the lighter beer, like I said before. It, it, the flavor is really delicious. So I'm gonna have one and enjoy some beer. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. Now you can make it too for your family. And I know you're gonna love this. And um, yeah, I'm gonna put, enjoy this a little bit more, put that in the oven so I can share with some of my neighbors. But once again, this is, thank you for joining me today in making this, um, this recipe of, of mine that I'm really thrilled that I finally found the way to make it exactly the same and bringing back those memories of being in the San Miguel and enjoying it with my family. So with that, have a great one. Bon appétit.